my lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and a warm welcome back to Railway Empire and part two of our playthrough the cattle drive scenario where we're aiming to achieve a golden tick on all of the tasks that we have set before us and to achieve a rating of president. So far in part one we got the first three tasks out of the way and we also completed one of the optional tasks which was to connect 400,000 people to our rail network. As we can see we've managed to achieve four out of four golden check marks so far so we're off to a winning start. What we want to focus on next is the one there right at the bottom which is producing 20 loads of meat per week. At the moment we own one meat industry on the map that is up in our starting city up here in Sioux Falls. As it stands we can produce a maximum of 4.8 per week so we're going to have to look into getting some more meat industries if we want to hit that 20 loads per week target. That is obviously going to cost us quite a bit of money because there's every chance we will get into some sort of bidding war with Beatrix von Pomp when we try and buy one of the industries. So let's uh, make a start, start the game, put it back on to two times game speed or the, the fast game speed. I'm not sure if it's two times or whatever it might be, but it's certainly uh, fast forward, shall we say. And we want to be looking into buying some meat industries somewhere. Uh, we don't need Mason Farm, that's a fruit farm. How much would this one cost to buy? Uh, 218,000 we can put a bid in on that there's a high chance that Beatrix will enter a bidding war so we want to keep an eye on this and leave it running at full speed in the background that way we have plenty of funds to outbid Beatrix should she opt to try and undercut us which she isn't we bought that without incident which is great in terms of research, at this point I'm not really fussed as to what we get, so we will get the Rensselaar. Uh, whether we use that or not remains to be seen. Anyway, we now have the meat industry down here in Amarillo. We need £510,000 to upgrade that, or $510,000 I suppose I should say. Technically speaking, we are in the US. So we'll get to that 510 and then we shall purchase that. Handily, if you remember, in the previous episode, we were offered this as an outright purchase by the owners, which we availed ourselves of, so we can make some good money here, because we'll make money on the cattle production, the shipment, and then, of course, the transformation of the cattle into meat and leather products as well. So we'll make a start towards that end. Let's just slow it down a little bit here while we do all of this. So we want a station at the ranch, and, of course... We want one in, or a second one, to be accurate, in the city of Amarillo. And we'll do them with a nice simple connection. Now it's only a short journey, but I do think we can get away running two trains down here, just to ensure we have maximum throughput at all times. So we'll put some signals in to allow blocking. Put down a supply tower. And we want to set up a freight line that runs from Campbell Breeding that carries a full load at all times into Amarillo. We shall use the Dragon because it's the most suitable freight expert, not freight express, it's the most suitable freight locomotive we have available. The Rensselaer is faster, but it has much lower attractive effort, so we will go for the Dragon. And if we wanted to, we could put a rail car on there as well, the refrigerator car. As you can see, that provides an extra 20% freight revenue for food. So we'll go for that. And as I said, we want two of those, so we'll purchase a second. And that's going to start contributing to our overall meat production. So 4.8, we also have 4.8 up in Sioux Falls, so that's at 9.6. So we're just under halfway there. So we even need to expand these two industries even further or look to purchase yet another meat producing industry. And what I am going to do at this point is I'm going to get myself a station over here in Wichita 
like so. We're going to link this to our network and we're going to link it up to Sioux Falls. Eventually we want to have another meat producing industry down here in Wichita. We have cattle nearby that once again we already own so we'll make good money and good profits from that. So if we can bring this into Omaha but before we do that we want to make sure we're giving it a dedicated track entry point and I'm going to future proof this and upgrade it one more time and I want to go to the outermost platform there so 125,000 is what we're looking at to do this personnel we have nothing of interest so we'll allow them to pass us by there's the 125 for that line we will of course want to double track this into Omaha so this is going to serve us two ways it's going to contribute once we get around to it the meat production which is going to help towards that goal we're aiming for at the moment and it's also going to supply Omaha with another stream of meat so hitting that 1000 shipment target is going to be done that little bit faster so let's go ahead and let's put the signals down we already have a maintenance building there and we'll go ahead and chuck a couple of supply towers down on this route like that and we may as well have some trains running down here in the meantime and uh, we'll just leave them set to automatic because eventually we will want them shipping the meat that we're looking to produce in the not too distant future so two from Omaha two originating in Wichita and there we go that will contribute to our background income Let's just have a look at the personnel here. We'll hire all staff and let the game decide what train they're best suited for. Although I can imagine they're going to end up on wrong trains and we'll have some sort of slowdown and uh, a breakdown due to personality clashes. But we'll deal with that when it happens. So how much to upgrade you, sir? Over a million, okay. We'll be probably looking at the best part of a million in order to purchase this furniture industry and replace it with a meat industry. Elliot Trofner Rock Springs, that's only producing clay, which we have no interest in, so we shall pass that one by. We've got a bit of research we can look into. Uh, reducing maintenance requirements by 10% is always a winner, so we'll go for that. Okay, I think now we should have enough in reserves to purchase this, to then demolish this, and to then build a meat industry in its place. I think all told we're going to need about eight to nine hundred thousand to do all of that. But we're able to purchase industry without competition from Beatrix. The demolition will cost us three hundred, and I do believe the meat industry building is four hundred thousand. No, it's three hundred, so we have enough. We'll be left with five thousand five hundred and fifty-six dollars. But uh, hey, at least we have it in position ready. So let's put that just there. Okay. Now we can't expand this because we're only a level 1 city here in Wichita. So what we're going to do next is start working towards increasing the size of Wichita to allow us to expand that industry as much as we possibly can. So the first and obvious candidate to be connected is of course the cattle ranch that we own here, Collins Cattle, and we'll have a nice supply of cattle then being brought into Wichita, which is going to feed the industry that we have just constructed ourselves. And of course, we are going to double track this. The more trains we can have, the better. Let's go ahead and double track this. And because these are freight trains on their return empty, we can put some short distance signals in there and that will queue our trains up a lot closer to the to the station so they don't have as far to travel let's just pause it while we set this line up so again we're going for a freight line into wichita at collins cattle we would like to be fully loaded at all times so we'll select that option once again we're going for the dragon and what the heck let's go ahead and stick a rail car on there as well and I'm going to go for four here. I know it's only a short distance and we're going to overburden this industry very quickly, but we can upgrade it. We're in control. We don't want that. In fact, let's just slow the game down at this point, shall we? 
So we want $510,000 in order to upgrade this to a level two industry. That's what we're gonna do as soon as we're able. What we're also going to look to do is to have a super, uh, pass, not a pass, what's the word I'm looking for? A signal controlled warehouse, a large one, that is connected to Wichita, and into that warehouse, we're gonna supply as many of the goods as we can. So we're gonna be bringing in sugar, we're going to be bringing in logs. The veg, we could probably do that directly if we expand this station, but we're bringing in the corn, we'll grab the milk from up here, we could get this fruit if we wanted to. We have corn available over here as well, or wheat I should say. We also have wheat available down here. So yes, we can supply that with as much as we can and then Wichita should really, really start to grow at a very rapid pace. For now, let's expand Collins cattle. There we go. So that's now producing 4.8 cattle per week. That's gonna help get us close to this goal a lot faster as well. We're already just about halfway there. Technically, well, it's not technically, it's, it is true. Uh, we are 44% of the way there. Quite easy maths there. Uh, how are we doing anywhere else? Yeah, not bad. This will come very, very quickly now, especially once we start to get Wichita growing. The one in Amarillo cannot be expanded any further. However, we know the one in Sioux Falls does have two available expansion slots. However, the problem with the one in Sioux Falls is the cattle are coming from quite a distance away. They come from all the way over here. So ideally, we'd like to focus on this one. Saying that, however, we do have to wait for this one to grow. So there's your, your trade-off right there. Do we plow the million into this industry here, where it may be running out of supply from time to time due to the distances involved? Or do we conserve that million, or rather, invest that million into Wichita's expansion where we can keep this one fully stocked at all times and then start to expand this one. I think I'm going to lean towards the latter option there and we're going to look to invest all our money at the moment into Wichita. We'll have a little bidding war on that, it's quite a useful one. Increased freight revenue is always nice of course. Right, I'll just pause it here, the game is getting a little bit laggy now. So I'm just going to pause it when I'm perusing the map. That's what I'm looking for right there, Kelly Ranch. That, my friends, is the last industry, the last cattle industry that we need to bring into our network. And given that this is very easy to accomplish, we're going to do this like so. You have already successfully connected some livestock farmers to the There we go, the connect network. the four businesses. That That's been done nice and straightforward. We don't actually have to do anything with the, the industry as long as we have that connection. So we've won that little bidding war there for railroad police. So that's going to give us an extra 8% on all our freight revenues, which is handy. And um, what we're going to do now, we have over the 300,000 that we're looking for. Is we're going to get that big station with the signaling control. And we're going to situate it, like I said, so it has a direct connection to Wichita. Like so. And then we're going to set up what we want to have in here. So as I said... Well, first of all, let's put the maintenance building on. We want the grain, we want the corn, we want logs. Yes, well, we'll include the sugar, even though we could run it directly into Wichita if we wanted to. The vegetables we will handle directly into the town itself. Milk I did see nearby. Yep, yeah, we could get milk from up here. It's not too far away, so we'll go for that. Uh, yeah, vegetables we'll handle, and I saw fruit somewhat nearby, yet yeah, down here by Oklahoma City, so we can definitely bring fruit in. So all of these goods, not all of them are required at the moment in Wichita, but that's fine. They can build up a nice stockpile in the meantime, and then as soon as there is that demand for them, once Wichita, Wichita starts to grow, then they will start drawing on their supplies. So let's make a start. The first and foremost is the wheat. So shall we come in from down here? I think that's going to be the best option for us. So let's go ahead. Let's get a maintenance building on that station. We're going to run it around. And we are going to come up this way. Between the fruit farm and the logging industry and Oklahoma City. And we're going to connect this into the outermost platform 
$126,000. Shouldn't take as long to accumulate that now. We do have a very solid economy running in the background. And there we go. So we want to double track this, of course. So we'll do that straight away. Now, I'm also going to bring Oklahoma City into our network because they produce beer. So they could exchange their beer for some of the meat in Wichita, or rather they could give Wichita their beer, the meat that Wichita is producing. We do want it all going to Sioux Falls, sorry, into Omaha. So yes, they won't get any meat in return. So Oklahoma City may not grow that much, but all we want Oklahoma to do is to feed Wichita so we can get that very rapid expansion. Anyway, let's put a supply tower there and there. And then we'll set up this freight line. So we want freight only. We can have a minimum of eight, please. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the refrigerator cars here. Our economy is strong enough that it can survive without it. We don't have to hit any freight revenue targets, so we can just do what we please, really. Right, let's put some short signals in here for queuing purposes when the trains are waiting to load up. There we go. So there's the wheat taken care of. Now let's get the logs. Now we could just bring the logs in on this line. But I don't want too many trains queuing up here waiting to get into the platform. So we will keep these separate and distinct, even though it's going to cost us more because we're having to lay dedicated tracks for each of these, but that's fine. As I said, our economy is in such a position now where I think we can accommodate that. Now we want to lay the double tracks down here into Walker Login 25,000. There we go, that's that. We want these signals. And once again, we'll put some short signals down for queuing purposes. We shall put down a supply tower. And then we shall set up another freight line into the warehouse. Fully loaded. And we shall have three trains on that line supplying the logs. Next we shall bring in this fruit down here, which is not needed right now. Wichita hasn't expanded enough yet to have a demand for the fruit, but like I said, we can at least give them a stockpile in the warehouse, so when they do demand it, they have plenty to draw on. Okay, there we go. That's enough for the station. Let's pop that right there. Eat into that little mountain thing. And we'll run this out. And again, we're going to put keep it on its own dedicated line. Even though we are going to have to pay through the nodes for the extra bridge, but it's all okay. There we go. And now the double tracks are coming in. And that's going to be 41,000, which is not a problem. Now the signals. Same story again with the short signals down at the station. Let's get some money for this supply tower and then for a handful of trains. Now that should be more than enough. Let's pause it while we set these up. So Mason Farm into the warehouse, freight only. You don't have to do that of course, but just for a bit of OCD, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, one, two. Two is going to be enough because Wichita is not going to start demanding fruit until they hit 50,000 citizens. So two trains is going to be enough to get a nice stockpile building in this warehouse. So that's all the goods we need from down to the south. What we're going to do now is put another station in Wichita over on this side with a maintenance building. And this is going to be tracked down to Oklahoma City. We're not going to have enough money, so let's allow some money to build up. Let's go ahead and put in a small station in Oklahoma City, just so we know where to run the tracks to. I'm going to say we're going to need about 120,000 for this line, maybe less, but if we aim for 120, yeah, that's close enough. Let's let's see how much it is, shall we? Oh, 70 hours, way off the mark, and that's without adjusting the track heights. Okay, we'll take that. It's a lot better than I was expecting to pay, so I'm happy with that result. Uh, 61 for the return, which we now have. 
Let's get our signals. Okay, we've switched to right-hand drive on that line, but that's fine. The check there, the trains aren't interchanging lines or anything, so it's okay. Okay, there's the supply tower funded. Brilliant. Now let's set up a line from Wichita to Oklahoma City, ensuring that they do not bring any meat into Oklahoma with two trains. And then two from Oklahoma City into Wichita, again ensuring they do not pick up any meat when they're heading back from Wichita. Okay, just need to wait for a bit of money there. There we go. Okay, so Wichita has grown to level two, so we can now expand our industry at a cost of $510,000. So I think we'll let that build up and we'll uh, go ahead and pay for that expansion. So the only things they haven't got yet are the grain, which is on its way, and the corn, which we have not yet connected. However, the corn, uh, sorry, the grain is on its way in, so that's fine. We might need more trains running on that line, actually. Let's go ahead and get an extra two. unlocking some more research there the steel wheel tires again for a further 10% reduction in the maintenance requirements on our locomotives let's get that security guard and have the game assign him wherever it sees fit we can expand this industry now there we go so what you next a considerable number of cattle cannot get this okay that's that one there 100 loads of cattle have now been produced we are 14% of the way to this goal, which is absolutely fine. Uh, this one, we uh, think we need to get a bit of a move on here. I don't know if we're going to hit that in time. Can we do anything with our bombs? Yes, that's good. Let's get rid of those and get that. Let's get... Oh, no, that's, that's Omaha. That's the wrong city. Well done, Andrew. That's what we want. Let's expand that. That's 9.6. Okay, is there... Do we think we could buy that one from under Beatrix? But it's not being supplied, so it's not really going to help. What about this one? She's supplying this one, isn't she? Uh, we can try it. It's only 266,000. I've got a feeling she will bid us on this one. Because she is, she's doing stuff in Denver. And she's supplying the cattle from Kelly Ranch as well. But we'll see. Oh, maybe not. I was wrong. Okay, but we can expand that one at least once. Now, hopefully, I haven't done the maths at all, but hopefully that, between all of those, is enough. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so we have now tipped over into 1852. I do believe we have until the middle of 1852 to achieve that goal of hitting 20 cattle or 20 meat production per week. So with this fully upgraded, I think we should be good because we have two at maximum level. Uh, well, this one's not at its maximum yet, but we are struggling to keep the keep the cattle You've supplied. Not only made yourself a name as a hauler. Never mind, we've just done it, so I can forget about all of that. And yes, indeed, it must have been, it is in the middle of 9, 1852, not 1952. That would be a long time. Yes, the middle of 1852 in order to achieve this. So we have the golden check mark. So now we can just focus on delivering the meat to Omaha and then buying Beatrix. Because once we've done this one, it's automatically going to complete this one. So both of those will uh, complete, you know, we're doing the same same thing to achieve the same task or different task if you if you follow me that probably doesn't make sense but you know what i mean so let's get some more trains running to omaha from sioux falls which are obviously prioritizing the meat and let's get some more on the omaha to wichita line and in fact we're going to go for another two originating in either city and they can start getting some more meat sent up into Omaha 
You can't expand yet, although you will be at level 3 in about 10,000 more population. So let's continue with getting some stocks into Wichita, shall we? Let's get them some sugar to their warehouse. Now if we wanted to, and if I thought about it at the time, what we could have done is position this warehouse so it has the overlap between not only the town of Wichita, but also the sugar industry as well. I'm sure there would have been a sweet spot where we could have had both in the same catchment area, but never, the, no, never mind, we're, we're done now. So let's just let's get the line set up, shall we? So running sugar into there, freight only, eight cars. We're not going to need many for this, it's very, very close. I'm going to say two is going to be enough there. Let's start bringing in, or get ready to bring in the vegetables. So let's get a small station at the veggie farm. Let's give it the maintenance building, of course. Connect it in. And again, short line, so just two trains is going to be enough for this. In fact, one would probably be enough, but I'm going to go for two anyway because we can afford it, so why not? Let's again give them short signals for parking purposes. Get rid of that, we don't need that up. So, eight please. And we want two. So, what else do we need to bring down here? We need corn and milk, don't we? So we have corn here and we have milk here. Or we could, could we? No, not without overlapping the train line, which we don't want to do. So we will keep them on separate stations. So one there and one there. So then Evans Farm, you are coming into that platform there. I'm not going to fine tune the tracks at all. We have plenty of money to do this, so we don't need to save or cut costs where we can. Let's just keep it as the game recommends, so to speak. And again, with the short signals and supply towers, let's start you off. I'm not even going to bother changing it over to freight only anymore. It doesn't matter. Let's just get them on the way. We'll have four because it's a fairly long journey. And again, we'll do four from Williams Fattening down into this platform. And once again, not going to bother fine-tuning the track at all. So there might be bridges and tunnels along the way, but it, I don't, it's not really that much of an issue anymore. We're very strong financially. And let's do that once again. We want short signals. Let's put quite a few in there and supply towers we'll have one there and then one on the other side of the river set up this line into the warehouse minimum of eight and we want two three four i'll say five it's a little bit longer and we'll see how that does research anything in particular that we want and or need. Well, not really, not at this point. We don't want that though. Let's go ahead and just get, what was that? Train instructions for increased profits from mail. So Wichita is looking good. It's growing still 96% fulfillment of demand, which is really good. So we're going to see some very rapid growth in Wichita. In the meantime, what I am going to do is start heading out a line down to Amarillo. So the cattle or the meat we are producing down here in Amarillo, we can start looking to ship that into Omaha as well. Let's expand that. Beatrix, go away. Where's our track? There it is. So we will find you in this one because it's such a long distance. It's going to be ridiculous the amount of bridges and tunnels that the game is trying to put in. In fact, if we bring you that way... Not by there, yeah, that's 1%, that's fine. That's all fine. So you're opting to tunnel underneath the tracks. That's more expensive than having a bridge. So why don't we... If we do this, it should promote a bridge, yep. And if we remove that one, okay, it's going to give us a very long bridge, but we can shorten it. 809,000. 
Let's just increase that a bit. 859,000, but the gradient isn't as severe, so we'll go for that. We can afford it quite comfortably. Uh, the duplicator track may be a different story, of course, but we shall see. 387,000, not too bad, so we're not too far off. But once this is set up, then we can start sending in some meat from o from Amarillo, not from Omaha. We're going to Omaha. Uh, yes, from Amarillo. We want the signals. A couple of supply towers, maybe three along this stretch. It's quite a long journey. Uh, let's go for four. Let's have one just there as well. It will. If we could afford it, we would. And now we can, so we will. Wonderful. So, rail line, Amarillo, prioritising meat, all the way to Omaha, and you will be running, where's the line gone, let's just pause it, where's that, Amarillo to Omaha, there you are, add loco, you'll be running the dragon, and let's just chuck out eight of these, all originating in Amarillo, perfect. So you've got plenty of cattle in stock. Now, if we wanted to, we could also look to expand and grow Amarillo. So we could upgrade the industry in Amarillo to get even more meat flying up this line. But I think we'll be fine. Let's just auto-assign those boys. Uh, the promoter, we want you to get to work in Wichita. Now, what are we doing here? 99% fulfillment of demand. The population is absolutely skyrocketing, which is exactly what we're wanting it to do so that's good to see uh, we could start bringing some wheat into Oklahoma City now that I think about it we have that beer industry and the more beer we can keep flowing to Wichita the better so let's do that let's use that track it doesn't really matter but it keeps the uh, the train line nice and straight which is nice and pleasing to look at Let's do that. There we go. Again, we'll queue our trains up by the station. We'll put a supply. Can we get one to cover all four? No, it doesn't look like it, so we'll put it there. Okay, new rail line. Collins Estate. Sorry, Cole Estate. Learn to read, please. Uh, Bishop's Estate. No enough. Platt. No go away. Minimum of eight. Yep, perfect. Dragon. Yes. Two, three, four. So you're quite, you'll be a bit slow, aren't you, on the old production front here. Let's go ahead and buy you so we can upgrade you. Beatrix might try and outbid us, but she hasn't for a while now, so I think her funds are not so great, which is interesting because we're on very hard. But there we go. Now we can expand this. And I think we'll try and get to level three so we don't have these trains queuing for too long. So we need just over a million to do that. Let's get the Rogers American, shall we? Why not? Okay, come on, nearly there. One, we you know, just over one million we need. One million and twenty thousand dollars. There's the ticket, and there's the upgrade. So that should be more than enough to keep two, uh, two of the trains supplied without too much waiting around. Of course, if we want to, we can save up and get a level four industry here. But we shall see how we get on. Uh, Wichita, you've expanded again. Now you've gone for that industry. We don't want that. So let's buy that and get rid of it. Because we want an industry that we're supplying plenty of materials to. So we can keep that very high demand satisfaction. So there we go. We've got the furniture industry. Let's now demolish said industry. So we've got about 400,000 to play with here. Now, are we bringing in cotton? I don't think we are. Could we bring in cotton? Not without messing around with this line here. So, unless we had it on this side. But there's no way to get it into the warehouse. Well, there is here, but there's no spare slots in the warehouse. So, we shan't do the weaving industry. Uh, we could do the sawmill at 400,000. Yeah, that's fine. We are supplying logs, of course. So, we know we're hitting that demand. So, we'll go for that. Uh... Ticket prices increase? Yeah, what the heck? Why the hell not? So Wichita continues to grow nicely. 
uh, we're now pretty much well yeah almost exactly one third of the way through this goal which is great and obviously the further we can expand this industry the better in the meantime let's get ourselves a museum to encourage even more growth and demand fulfillment there in fact how are we doing 85 percent that's fantastic especially for level four where they start demanding some of the uh, manufactured goods in the meantime let's have a look uh yeah we'll get that how much would it cost oh, 13 million so we're quite a ways off being able to do that go away beatrix i want that and i can pretty much guarantee i have more money than you to play with here thank you very much let's auto assign all of those auctioneer no don't need one of those Okay, let's go ahead and start buying some of Beatrix shares up, shall we? Uh, shall we go for 20%? Uh, we don't need that. Yep, so there's 20% snapped up nicely. So at this point then, it's largely just a bit of a waiting game while you wait to accumulate the money to buy your competitor. Uh, in the meantime, while you're waiting for that, of course, you are continually supplying meat to achieve that last goal as well. Now, what we could do is we could chuck a lot more trains on this line. I think we've got seven at the moment. Let's go for 12. Let's really, really keep a good, uh, good flow. I mean, yeah, well, there's plenty in stock and they're, they're at a decent level, so they should be able to keep up, especially when the trains start to space themselves out over the long distance that they're travelling here. So that's all good. We have plenty of trains running between Wichita and Omaha, plenty between Sioux Falls and Omaha, and we have plenty between Amarillo and Omaha, and they should all be bringing some amount of meat with them, providing we have some for export. We did, but I think we've just taken the last of it there. And we have no cattle in reserve. Uh, let's expand that. Let's do it twice. That way we can ensure that we never fall short on cattle again. Because ideally we want every train that departs Amarillo to have at least some meat on it. And the last couple there haven't had any and that's not ideal. Uh, Rogers American, do we want to swap out our trains? Well we could do our passenger and mail trains. Why the heck not? So how are you doing now, Mr. Industry? Yeah, we need to keep that utilisation up as close to 100% as we can. Now, Johnson Breeding near Casper, not interested in that. Do we want to expand that again? What the heck? Let's really chuck out the cattle down here. How are we doing in Wichita? Well, we can expand this even further. In fact, does the, uh, does, does the cattle ranch need expanding at all? yeah it does doesn't it let's do that that's nine just yeah nine and a half cattle a week i don't know how you can produce 0.6 of a cattle but there you go uh, 1.5 million to upgrade it again which we will want to do let's just auto hire all of those and nobody interesting right there or nobody of any immediate benefit anyway so we'll get the 1.5 million then we will upgrade collins cattle to level four and that should absolutely guarantee that our trains can go in get loaded and get out straight away there we go so yeah you're now producing just under 17 cattle per week which should be more than enough to keep these trains flowing freely how are we doing down in wichita we have another industry slot which again we want to put something in and shall we go for a distillery because we are bringing in both fruit and sugar so i think we will so basically at the moment wichita is our town we have the stations both of them and yeah we have all of the uh, the industry slots taken up as well so wichita very much our town what do we want next oh increased train maintenance that's always a plus so let's go for that oh we have another 100 to spend um, increased number of passengers? Yeah, why not? Oh, you've bought 1% of my shares, have you, Beatrix? Well, 
I can sense a hostile takeover coming, he says sarcastically to himself. Anyway, how much to upgrade you? Just over a million. We'll do that as soon as. There we go. That's that done. How are you doing now? Oh, yeah, plenty, plenty. That's lovely. We know Amarillo's doing okay, but we'll just check it. The utilization's climbed. Although they are still running out of cattle here. That's not an issue here, is it? No. I think we might just want an extra train on here. In fact, let's go for two. Why not? Let's really chuck those trains out and let's get them queued up like that, as close as we can. Yeah, so Beatrix has decided to utilise our cattle breeding farm. That's fine, because you're going to get bought out in the not too distant future there, Beatrix, so do what you want. Let's expand that once again. How are you doing up here? Uh, yep, you're fine. Do you want to put another couple of trains on here as well? Why not? Let's just really over overdo it, shall we? Let's go balls to the wall on this one. We could expand some of these as well. Why not? We have the money, well, ish. We have the economy baseline to do it, shall we say. We might not have the money immediately to hand, but it doesn't take us long to uh, accumulate said money, shall we say. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. So Wichita is now level 5, yeah, over 100,000 inhabitants. And when you think back when we started, when uh, at the start of this episode, it must have been about, well, I think it was about 17,000 in Wichita. So Wichita has seen phenomenal growth over the past, what must be two years at the most. Research, um, I'm going to leave it for now. What I'm going to do is head back into here. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, so her share price is going up and up. You have purchased but there's a 30% target now achieved. About. Plenty of time to get this, as we can see. 1869, so yeah, many, many years left. We're halfway to this now, or over halfway, 53%, so fantastic to see that. Don't care about that one as such. How much to upgrade you to the final level? 1.5 million. Well, I think we're going to do that, even if we can't quite keep the cattle demand satisfied. How much can you export now? Up to 99 units. Wow, that's really good. Uh, we've got sabotage in the distillery. Well, that'll show me. I may as well resign now, Beatrix. You've won. You sabotaged my distillery. Okay. Anyway, well done, Beatrix. Could we get some more cattle from somewhere? Well, we could get one from Campbell Breeding if we could squeeze in yet another warehouse that links to Wichita on this side of this warehouse. I don't know if it's going to be possible. In the meantime, let's get the consolidation. That's a 34 mile an hour, 95%, so it is an improvement on the Dragon, although only by 2 miles per hour. But what the heck, we have the money to swap them all out, so let's do that. So, yeah, 1.9 million. That's all the dragons now replaced with the consolidation. Right, let's see then, shall we? Can we get another warehouse that links to Wichita? Oh, yes, we can. We really can. Just about. We can just get it in. The only reason I'm saying let's do another one is because we have no slots available in warehouse number one to bring cattle in. So let's do it here. We might bring some other stuff in as well in the future. We don't really need to, I suppose, but if we wanted to, we could. And then we can expand our station at Campbell Breeding. Get the track lane tool out and run a track into there. We certainly don't want a bridge like that, so we will do some fine tuning on this one. We're going to need a bridge over here because she's built a line straight through here. That's okay. Or we could go for a tunnel if we wanted to. Why not? They are more expensive, but what the heck. Right, so... How do we want to tackle this? Let's keep you up there, shall we? That's probably a decent idea. Uh, there you go. That, that's not too bad. 360,000 isn't the end of the world so let's double track 
all the way back to the warehouse. Let's put down our signals. We want short signals down here. We're going to have quite a few trains because it's a long journey. So let's give themselves plenty of short signals there. And we'll have a supply tower prior to the river. And we'll have one just after that long bridge over her train lines just there. And then let's go ahead and chuck a load of trains down here. We want them all to run full into warehouse number two. And we'll use a consolidation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. So we're really pumping out the cattle here. In fact, are we going to want to upgrade this for a fifth time? 1.5 million to do so. Now I think we're keeping up. So that's making us uh, nice profits now. Let's just get two of those stokers, or both of those stokers, I should say. A spy. Yeah, let's send her over to Beatrix just to be a pain in her backside. So we can't upgrade that any further. Uh, we do need to make sure we've got plenty of cattle coming in, which is why we have this second line supplying cattle into a second warehouse. And the handy thing here is if we have four trains coming in at once, uh, yep, yeah, we'll pay for that, we'll pay that sabotage. We don't want to risk it being the one there, Amarillo, or, well, any of them really. We are dependent on pretty much all of our cattle producing industries. So yeah, as you can see, these can all come in and unload, well, four of them can come in and unload simultaneously. So we can keep plenty, even though we've got at least two trains unloading at once here. We're just not keeping up with it, the sheer amount of cattle that this industry needs. That's a good, that's that's fine. I can live with that. We still, oh, look at that. We're nearly uh, three quarters of the way done. All we need to do after that then is just buy out Beatrix. Let's repay these bonds. And, oh, they are big. Five million bonds. Wonderful. Could we, could we, could we? No, not, not far off, though, to be fair. We could buy up a huge chunk of Beatrix's company. Now let's go 55%. Yeah, you get angry. So what are we up to now? I didn't, I didn't even check actually when I was there. What are we up to? 85%. So an outright merge is three and a half. Uh, yeah, around about three million we're looking for then, which shouldn't take us long to get to. Uh, research doesn't really matter anymore at this point. Okay, so that's two and a half million. So let's go ahead and buy up another good chunk of Beatrix here. Should we leave her with 1% of her company? There you go. 99% and 1% public float. Uh, Beatrix, my dear, goodbye. And let's You're just scrap the lot. Over a competitor. Wonderful. So now it is just company. waiting for this, which is just going to be a matter of time. And that's the last we've seen of Beatrix. What did she have here? Uh, Station Master, well, increasing dispatch times is nice, so we'll keep hours. Don't really care about that at this point, because we're done expanding. Don't care about that. Don't care. Oh, we'll get you anyway. What the heck? At least keep you in a job. Research, yep, doesn't matter at this point. We have 16 million. Let's just get rid of our bonds, just so they're gone. Not that it really matters, of course, but what the heck. That can go away. What are we up to now? 87, 877. Lovely stuff. Could we get more trains here? No, uh, they're loading fast enough. It's just the, the time it takes them to be maintained in the station. Right, that's just the hold up here, so getting more trains is not really going to serve us any great benefit. Especially not when you get random breakdowns like that, which is frustrating, but not much we can do there. Nearly 200,000 people now in Wichita. Uh, yeah, that is insane. That's some impressive growth there, Wichita. You're easily the largest city on the map now. 
And I bet you're making us a small fortune. Let's just go ahead and upgrade these. You don't need to, but may as well just pass the time. Uh, you've made us, I, I think this is since last upgrade, $426,000. Not bad at all. How are we doing on the task? Look at that, just a handful of trains away from completion. We have plenty of meat heading into Omaha from all directions. As we can see, our trains from Amarillo are coming in with meat, our trains from Wichita, and hopefully, also, our trains from Sioux Falls. Yes, they are. So just three more to go, and there we go. Perfect president rating. 20 out of 20 time rating, so we did get gold check marks on all of our objectives, which was never really in doubt at, uh, in the latter part of the game there. Let's look at our game date. It took us 3 years and 12 months, which I do believe is my personal record for this scenario. I think the, the, uh, the previous record for myself was 4 years and 1 month. Company value, $67 million. That's incredible. 138 lines, 42 stations, 9,559 miles of track, and 631 wagons on duty. Absolutely fantastic result. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And for those of you looking for how to achieve a perfect score for the time rating to get all those gold tick marks i hope we found it of some use if you have enjoyed the episode then please consider hitting that thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then go ahead and subscribe now for future updates on new releases the next scenario we're going to tackle i think we're going to go for i'm torn i might either go for the commodore or the automobile both of which can be quite tricky they're both rated as hard by the game uh, i can achieve a perfect score well perfect gold tick runs on both of them just about it is tight it is touch and go at times but i can do it so i think i'll go for one of those two next i'm not sure which at this point yet however but for now ladies and gentlemen all that remains for me to say is as always take very good care of yourselves it's Tata for now.